Hey guys, it's Gaming Nate, and today um, I'm just gonna make like a video for the second channel just about how I felt about E3 2021. Because um, I've I've heard mostly purely positive um perception on it, and while I feel like they did do um a lot a good job in revealing a lot of games, they also didn't. They also um didn't reveal a lot of the games that were really needed for the Switch. So, um, I'm gonna talk into that later. I'm just gonna go over the big announcements in order when they're announced. Um, first of all, Smash character. You're seeing the trailer right now. Um, um, a Tekken person, apparently. But here's my problem with him. When I was, when he was revealed, I literally didn't know who he was. So, that. You know, that's something we, this late into, um, Smash Fighters, the, we shouldn't be getting characters like that. I really feel like, um, but yeah, I mean, as for his moveset, he looks cool, I guess, but, um, yeah, it, it was honestly a little bit disappointing to me. Um, I feel like it, the Smash Fighter could have been a lot better. And it was obvious we were getting a Smash Fighter, so, like, that's not the big deal here. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go on to the next big announcement, which is Mario Party Superstars. Um, I'm skipping over all the, you know, small announcements. I'm going straight to, like, the big nintendo e game announcements. So I, like, skip Monkey Ball because, like... It's not a huge announcement that's going to get that much hype. Um, Mario Party Superstars. Honestly, this is probably the thing that got me the most hyped out of the entire Direct. Because this was a needed game, and it looks like they're actually doing Mario Party correct for once. Like, there's a hundred mini games like Mario Party Top 100, but they're actually adding retro boards from N64. I would have preferred if they were GameCube boards. But I'm absolutely fine with that. Um, we're getting five boards, which I will say is a little is a little small. I would I would have at least had six. But um, this game looks great. I'm definitely going to be getting it. Um, hopefully the two boards are some other really good fan favorite boards like Western Land and Waluigi's Island or something. Um, but any but. In the end, I think this was easily one of Nintendo's best announcements, and October 29th is a great release date. Also, some big mini games were confirmed. This is what Top 100, Mario Party the Top 100, should have been. This game is exactly what I want in a Nintendo E3 Direct. Um, as for the next game here, that is going to be in a second. I'm just going to skip to it. Um... So, um, oh yeah, they actually talk about it a little bit first. Um, but anyways, this is, um, Metroid Dread. And, again, I think this was a really good announcement. I'm not personally a fan of Metroid, but even though I'm not a fan of Metroid, they did such a good job, um, they did such a good job making this game look good that I'm, that I'm excited for it. Like, I'm still not sure if I'm going to buy it or not, but it genuinely looks like a good game. Like, even if I'm not a Metroid fan in any way, shape, or form, it seems like a good game. They just had an incredible trailer here, um, especially for not even knowing about the game before. Um, um, yeah, it looks it looks genuinely fun. Um, apparently, apparently, there's some really big story thing here that I have no idea about because I don't know Metroid. But, um... This is, I'm, I'm absolutely fine with this, um, announcement. Like, Mario Party Superstars and Metroid Dread came back to back also. So, um, these, this, honestly, that, like, five minutes was probably my favorite part of the entire Direct. Because, like, these two games, this is what E3 should be. Like, this is, this is the, this is really positive reception that I'm gonna give it. And then they released it for, like, October, I think, something like that. Like, I'll skip ahead. Um, Metroid Dread. Uh, when is it? 
going to be released. Yeah, October 8th. That's what I'm saying. These big games. Um, yeah. Next thing I want to talk about, Mario Golf Super Rush. Um, Mario Golf Super Rush DLC confirmed. I mean, we knew it was going to happen, but so this wasn't a surprise in any way, shape, or form. I was kind of expecting this, honestly. Um, but one thing that I was, that did genuinely excite me, also this golf course looks really cool, but when they announced that there's new DLC being added, um, they announced a really cool stage, and I'll show it to you in a second. And I'm still undecided if I'm even going to buy Mario Golf Super Rush or not. But if I do, then I'm going to like the DLC because you guys know how much I like Odyssey. Probably Mario Odyssey. Um, but they show free, L free DLC updates will be at, here we go, New Donk City stage. If they keep doing stages like this, this is going to be a genuinely good Mario sports game. And I've never even played a Mario sports game before. So this is a good announcement, despite being something that I was expecting. Um, next thing, um, WarioWare, get it together. Um, another good announcement that I'm absolutely fine with. Yeah, like this is something it's another thing that was pretty necessary for the switch to have eventually. Um, so I'm glad it happened. And then the mini games look cool also. I've never played a Wario game or a WarioWare game before, but this this did the same job as Metroid to make it look really good. And I know this direct I've given it extremely positive reception so far, but you'll see why I have mixed opinions on it in a second. Like, the games that they revealed are really good, but there's one big problem I have with it. So there's nothing really I can say about WarioWare that I haven't already said about the other games. Um... So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. We already did know this game was coming thanks to Ubisoft E3, but still, um, this one, I mean, I guess it's cool, you know, like the Luma Rabbids cool, um, but I'm not sure how necessary it was. I don't really feel like I've heard people liking the original game that much. It, lo it does look fun, but yeah, I mean, this one just seems like good enough, you know. Um, so, like, this was an unexpected thing, and this one could have been replaced with something more needed, but I'm still fine with it. Um, and then we're on to, um, the, um, Zelda announcements. The first one is um, the Game & Watch thing, which I mean, I don't really care about. I don't know how many people did really care about it, to be honest. Um, I don't think very many people bought the Mario Game & Watch, so not very many people are going to buy the Zelda Game & Watch either. But yeah, just a small announcement there. And here's the um, by far the most anticipated announce announcement in the entire thing being The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. They had another trailer and they gave it a 2022 release date. This was cool, but for one, I was expecting a 2022 release date, but it was great to have that proof, you know. Um, but here's the thing, the trailer still didn't really reveal much about the game. Like as much as they did make it look sick and I'm already gonna be guaranteed to buy it, they didn't really show much about the game. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm happy that there was Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 announcements though. Um, this, this part looks really cool. Like you can be in the sky, the clouds. There's probably going to be like, or actually Windblight Ganon already exists. So I don't even know. But um, yeah. 
So, um, here's my big problem with the Direct. There's some franchises that really needed a new game on the Switch that didn't. And there's two franchises I'm specifically talking about here. Those being Mario Kart and Donkey Kong Country. Um, it would have been cool if Pokemon got information, but, you know, they for one, they usually get their own directs. For two, you know, um, I wasn't really expecting Pokemon information, so I'm not mad about that. Um, I'll start with Mario Kart. Um, it's been seven years since Mario Kart 8 came out. It got a, it got a port, and, um, people have been saying that, like, the... They're like it's gonna ruin this Mario Kart 9 will ruin the sales of 8 Deluxe. And I just want I just want to tell you guys that is completely not true. Um like if anything, it'll make Mario Kart 8 Deluxe sell better since like there's gonna be a lot of people that were introduced to Mario Kart through Mario Kart 9 and they will buy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But um yeah, um and then Donkey Kong Country is in a similar situation. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze came out in um, 2014, I believe. So seven years ago also. Um, and then and then um, it got ported in 2019, I think. Which is obviously, you know, different from... Obviously, it's different from Mario Kart 9 since... Mar or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe got ported in... 2017 but still it's and not only that it's Donkey Kong's 40th anniversary so I think those were both very necessary to be revealed in this direct and I would have been fine with them taking out two game two of the games that they did reveal to um show off those two like Mario and Rabbids didn't have to happen instead there could have been you know Mario Kart 9 um and then whatever else I guess I guess that whatever else they wanted to take out like maybe WarioWare can come in like 2023 or something so there can be a Donkey Kong Crunch country but um but yeah um so I have mixed feelings on this direct I think Metroid Dread Mario Party Superstars are both awesome they were both incredible reveal trailers. They're both getting October release dates, which is incredible. So, I think overall it was a good direct, but it could have been better. It wasn't perfect, like some people are saying it was. Um, but I'm very happy if it compared to the last direct, considering the last direct. Literally, the only big game that was announced was Splatoon 3, and it barely even showed a trailer. So, um... Yeah, it was a ton better than that. But, yeah, I think that's about what I wanted to say for this video. So, um, yeah, guys, this video is going to be done. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye-bye.